So the dude we're reacting to today is a dead guy, but he's very funny, still to this day. His jokes are very alive and well. So let's go ahead and tap into it. <laughs> Subscribe squad, it's another day, it's another dollar, and it's time for another freaking reaction because that is what we do. You look at me and I look at you, you look at me and I look at you, you look at me and I look at you. That is what we do. But before we go ahead and react to some more, George Carlin, I need you to do me a favor. I need you to hit that like button, I need you to hit that sub button, I need you to hit that bell button because you could ring my bell. Ring my bell, my bell. Ring it, ring it, ring it. That way you know every single time, literally every single time that I drop a new video. Not only that, Scribe Squad, we got a new goal. We're trying to get to 20K subs by the end of the year. And I know for a fact that we can do it because I'm out here getting it. You're out here getting it. So we're going to get it together and get to 20K subs. Now, with that being said, look, it's time to get our laugh on. It's a great way to start the day. It's to laugh. You know what I'm saying? So let's get that ha, 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 warm the voice up. Me, 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 me. Last time we reacted to George Carlin on religion. Today we are reacting to his lovely, lovely boop, 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 boop. Oh, and if you haven't already, get your tour tickets, big dog. Get your tour tickets. It's in the description below. His lovely bit on seven words you can't say on TV. Let's go ahead. Let's go. What you got for us today, George? Well, hell yeah. Sometimes it's okay, but not all the time. That's And they're the only words that seem to have that restriction. I mean, there are a lot of words you can say whenever you want, you know? Pneumonia! And nobody gives you a lot of... All right, you can't yell it in the hospital a great deal, but what the hell? There are words that you can say, no problem. Topography! No one has ever gone to jail for screaming topography. But there are some words that you can go to jail for. There are some words that we just have decided we will not say all the time. Sometimes, okay, if you're running through the jungle chasing somebody that we're at war with, you can holler them. If you're shooting a criminal, it's okay, it's the all-American thing. Dirty fucking group. <laughs> <laughs> but if you're with the bishop's wife at lunch, it's better not to ask for the goddamn lettuce. <laughs> You know what I mean? It's just like we've decided there'll be some words we won't say all the time. And I was just trying to find out which words they were. For sure. All of them. I wanted a list. Because nobody gives you a list. That's the problem. They don't give you a list. Wouldn't you think it'd be normal if they didn't want you to say something to tell you what it is? Nobody even tells you when you're a kid what the words are that you're supposed to avoid. You have to say them to find out which ones they are. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> oh, fuck! <laughs> That's two. Oh my, that's enough trial and error, huh? I mean, he do have a point. You don't know a bad word until you say the bad word and they tell you not to say the bad word. Or you see somebody else get into trouble for that word. <laughs> ma, that's enough trial and error, huh? Please, Ma, give me a list, huh? All right, you're six years old now. And here's the list of words your dad and I don't ever want to hear you say. Oh, hey, thanks, Ma. Boy, that's going to save me an ass kicking or two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you never know what's going to be on the list. Because it's always somebody else's list. You didn't make that up. Somebody told you that shit. They told you, better, better not say that, so you're going to... And you don't know what's going to be on their list. God, people's lists even change from day to day. Some people on Friday night got a list, you know, not about two or three words. Sunday morning, goddamn, there's 27 words. <laughs> These are the same people two days later. Different list. Mm. So you got to kind of watch out what you're going to believe from them. The trouble is, I was trying to find out what these words might be. And I wanted to know the ones that you could never say on television. I mean the filthy words that are always filthy. There are a lot of these little two-way double entendre words that have two meanings, words that are okay part of the time. I call them like part-time filth. Some of these words, they're only 50% dirty. 
You have words like ass. Ass is hardly even a dirty word anymore, but it has a few meanings that you can't say on television. That's what I was talking about. What can you say on television? That's another one of those places where we can't use these words all the time. But some of them are all right some of the time. Ass is all right on television. You can say on television things like, well, you've made a perfect ass of yourself tonight. Yeah. But you can't say, hey, let's go get some ass. <laughs> Bitch. Bitch is another word like that. Same kind of word. It's the only dirty part of the time. Depends on what you mean by bitch. You might be the lady from the San Diego Zoo visiting one of the Tonight Shows, and you might just have a bunch of little canines with you there. One of them is a female. You say, there's the bitch, Johnny, and it's okay, fine. Mm. Just don't refer to the singer the same way. That's <laughs> is that bitch going to do another number? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Animals are fine on those two-way words, and that's it. That's what I was trying to find, the words that were always dirty, not just part of the time but completely filled. Well, in, in looking for these words, I kept finding new categories. We have so many ways of describing these dirty words. It's, well, we have more ways to describe dirty words than we actually have dirty words. <laughs> that seems a little strange to me. It seems to indicate that somebody was awfully interested in these words. <laughs> they kept referring to them. They called them bad words, dirty. Filthy, foul, vile, vulgar, coarse, in poor taste, unseemly, street talk, gutter talk, locker room language, <laughs> barracks talk, body, naughty, saucy, raunchy, rude, crude, <laughs> lewd, lascivious, indecent, profane, obscene, He's blue, off-color, <laughs> risque, Suggestive, <laughs> cursing, cussing, swearing, and all I could think of was shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cocksucker, motherfucker. And yeah! <laughs> ah, ah, I'm so weak. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. I didn't even realize those are literally all the words that we use to describe bad words. We have so many words to describe bad words, except for the bad words. Like, <laughs> suggestive. <laughs> Cursing, cussing, swearing, and all I could think of was shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cock, suck a motherfucker, and tits. <laughs> shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cock, suck a motherfucker, and tits. That was my original list. I knew it wasn't complete, but it was a starter set. You know? <laughs> shit, piss, fuck, yes, WBAI is the one who played them. Shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cock, suck a motherfucker, and tits. Now, that was the original list. We've added a few words since then. We've added fart, turd, and twat. <laughs> <laughs> and I know there are some other words that many of you are wondering about, why they haven't been considered, why they haven't shown up on the list thus far. We're looking at them all very closely. <laughs> some of your favorites might make the list this year. <laughs> Asshole, ball bag, hard on, piss hard, blue balls, taint, nookie, snatch box, Pussy, pecker, peckerhead, pecker tracks, jism, joint, donnaker, dork, poontang. <laughs> cornhole, and dingleberry. Dingleberry, a very popular word. And to my way of thinking, dingleberry, a rather innocent sounding word. Dingleberry sounds Christmassy to me, you know. <laughs> Let's put one on the tree, Dad. <laughs> I can't. I can't with him. He's wild, bro. He's wild. And he's dope because he's like, he's definitely got like this classic feel to it, like at the same time. Now, like, I just find that to be very interesting. But I like that one because that was, that was when look. he they was are. younger, too. Like, okay. All right. Cool. I see you, George. I see you, George. I still think low key, and I don't know. This could just be me. I still feel like Bill Burr is a little funnier. This is just at least of the bits you guys told me to check out, but, you know, I will wait to have my theory disproven. We're still going to watch more and more George Carlin. That was funny. Um, maybe, but then again, it, it, it's kind of hard to say that because it's like Bill Burr is closer to our time. Like, his stuff is more modern, but this is just definitely, like, classic funny. Still universal messages, and that's how you know is if it's been like 50 years since you did a stand-up comedy, and it's still absolutely hilarious. Like, bro, you're you're dope and you're you're funny as hell, like for sure.
for sure funny. But it is interesting to think about like how we censor stuff. America's not even that censored compared to like places like China. Like they, it's so bad. They don't even show boys who have ear piercings in China. Like they blur out the ear piercings and the tattoos. Like, <laughs> like their internet is like a, a guided internet. It's like not the internet, bro. It's it's that wild over there. Like crazy wild. All right, do me a favor. Let me know more George Carlin, more comedians. Tap into the comments below. Watch another video on the channel. You already know what to do. Hit that sub button. Have a great day. Love you. See you next time.